Hey everyone, so it is November 8th and we just got out of our embryo transfer. I can't believe it happened! I can't believe this day has come and it's done and now the countdown begins to finding out if we're pregnant. Well, if I'm still pregnant because I am pregnant until proven otherwise. That's what a lot of people say, pupo. Or as a lot of my friends say, PASP, which is pregnant and staying pregnant. So. I just got done, and I'm not feeling bad at all from the, um, from the, uh, volume, but here is our little perfect person. How cute is it? Here, it's like, this is the actual embryo, and it's around this, so it's not hatched or anything, or it wasn't beginning to hatch, so that's our little guy, or girl whatever it is whatever god has planned for us so i'm so excited i'm so grateful and so thankful and that's all the windshield wipers i don't really know how to turn them off from here but tim's coming back because he just had to go get his water bottle and he forgot it in there so i had five um blasts today and they put one in me and it was a 4 aa blast so perfect and I'm recording. I know. Anyways, so I have four to freeze as of today, and then uh, my doctor said he thinks tomorrow we'll have like what three to four? I don't know. Seventeen. No, three to four. Hopefully that will be ready to freeze tomorrow, which is awesome. I mean, I'll be super thankful and happy if we just have the four. Like honestly, I was just wanting to. I just wanted one first of all that made it and it did and then now we have three more or four more that are being froze today so I'm super excited but we are going to go home I'm going to we're going to stock up on <laughs> we're going to stock up on some Netflix movies or not Netflix Redbox movies and then we're gonna also just watch some movies tonight on our TV so I'm pretty excited pretty thankful and we hope that our little guy or girl, I keep saying little guy, but our little guy or girl will stay in there for another nine months. And they told us that our um, betas will be, what our betas, when our betas will be, we'll have two of them and they do them obviously two days apart. And then they won't t call me until after the second one which is really strange like nobody else that i ever talked to has had their clinic do that we so get your hopes up. well i know it's a good idea because like if your first one's good that's great but they want to make sure the second one's doubles or more so it's a good idea but it still kind of stinks we have to wait but i already know we'll be testing at home before then so it doesn't even matter i mean the numbers matter but if i get to see a positive at home i'll be pretty happy as well and then after that Oh, they also told us our due date, which would be July 27th, which I'm super excited about a July baby. Hopefully it would be a July baby and not, you know, seep into August. So we already have a lot of August birthdays and anniversaries in my family. But yeah, it's actually raining in California today. That's pretty incredible. It's been kind of rainy, but it's been raining all day today. So today is the day, November 8th, that our little baby was put inside of me. But I will keep you guys posted and let you know as I do how everything is going. Bye! And I had, did get a call the day after, so that would have been Wednesday, um, giving me an update, letting me know like how many fertilized, all that good stuff. So let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so out of the 19 retrieved, I have that on my phone, um, 